Hey, what's up? So I've got these awesome bike racks that normally stay on my car, but in the off season, I want to store them in the garage out of the way. So I came up with these awesome over the garage racks made out of only two two by fours. Super easy. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it on this episode of FTD. Since I'm using this to hang my bike racks, I held them up against the ceiling just to make sure I had enough room. I also want to make sure I find the studs, so I'm going to do that next. And here I'm using my stud buddy, which has magnets in it, and it hangs against those nails used to attach the drywall to those floor joists or those ceiling joists above. And so I'm just making some marks and giving myself a frame of reference. Next, I'm measuring exactly what I want to hang up there. And so these are my two bike racks. I'm going to measure the width and the length and make sure that there's enough clearance between the bottom of the rack and the ceiling. So I'm checking that height to make sure I design the rack or the shelf accordingly. Next, you guessed it. I just cut some two by fours on my miter saw to length. There's a couple different parts. So I'm going to get all these things cut. And again, it's custom to what I want to hang. You can totally adjust this depending on what you're hoping to hang above your garage door. For one of the two by fours, I'm cutting them in half and these will become the two brackets that I'll mount to the ceiling, which will essentially hang the rest of the shelf. First, I assemble each side of the rack. I drill pilot holes and then I have two and a half inch deck screws that I'm using to fasten them together. The next step, I flipped it over and I drill a pilot hole into the middle of that bracket and then I drive in a screw so it's ready to mount. Next, I grab the other side and assemble that one. Now that I've got both sides done, I just need to attach the cross supports or the main shelves. And so I'm going to set these up, get the right width, and then I'm attaching them. Same thing, drilling pilot holes and then using the two and a half inch deck screws. Now that the box is assembled, I take it back to the ceiling. I use my lines. I had done some pilot holes into the ceiling as well, just to make absolutely sure that I was hitting a ceiling joist or a floor joist above because there's a bedroom above. And then, yeah, I go ahead and I anchor the first side because I had already drilled that pilot hole and I get that one. It's looking good. And then I go quickly to the other side and I mount that guy up as well. Now it's secure to the ceiling and we can go to the next step. I did a quick check with my stud buddy just to make sure my lines were right. Then I took all off my two shelf supports because they are in the way of fastening those screws into the top there. And so I removed those really quick and then I was able to fasten it into the ceiling really good. And after I got that done, I was able to reattach the shelf supports and now we're in business. Awesome. All right, so that's it, easy project. And it's up out of the way above the garage door. Watch, when the garage door opens, it's up out of the way and doesn't hit it, it's perfect. Hey, thanks so much for watching, I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to check out some other videos that I think you might like and subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll see you on the next video, thanks.